Hello and welcome to this week's Carrie Connects. I'm psychic medium Carrie Muggs and each week I pull a card from a deck to let you know what's coming up for the week and the signs and symbols to watch for. So first off, Merry Christmas. Today is Christmas. It's my favorite holiday. I love the month of December and so I just want to wish you a Merry Christmas and I want to share a story with you really fast. Um, for those of you that follow me know that my grandma passed this year and her favorite holiday was Christmas. She had a really big party Christmas Eve. Santa came, everyone got gifts. It was a big, it was, it was a big deal. And this year was her first year gone. Um, she passed this year. And so it's been kind of hard this Christmas. I just kind of like think of memories of her or memories of Christmas and things like that. Well, this last, um, I think Friday, I was, we were sitting at home. It was kind of late, it was about nine o'clock and the door rang. I went to go answer the door and there was this little boy there. And he handed me this box and I was like, thank you, Merry Christmas. And he just kind of stood there and I didn't know what he was doing. I'm like, thank you. And um, I think he was waiting for me to give him a gift because I think he thought, anyways, I think they got, they got their houses mixed up. So I went in, I opened the gift. It was a box of cherries, cherry cordials. My grandma loved cherry cordials. And it, it's, it was like just the exact type that she loved. I remember at Christmas, there would be, everybody gave her presents and there would be boxes and boxes of cherry cordials because she loved them so much. So I knew that this was her because we did not know this little boy. And then I went to look at the address. He had delivered it to the wrong place, to the wrong house. And it wasn't even like a neighbor. It was like blocks on blocks over. So they had gone to the wrong house. So eventually we delivered it to the right house, but it made me know that my grandma is with me. And I know some of you are like, oh my gosh, that's just coincidence. I know that it's not because I know how spirit talks and I know that's how they work. And it was the most amazing Christmas gift that I, that I, that I received. And so I know, I know with all my heart that our loved ones are with us and watching over us. So I wanted to share that with you because today, if you're feeling that, just know that they're around. Just know that they're around and be aware of what's around you so you can see that they're around. Okay, so this week is also tomorrow is a full moon. So we're going to use the moon, the oracle of the moon, queen of the moon oracle is what we're using. So tomorrow is the full moon. It's the cold moon. So this week is going to be a kind of crazy week because this is the lollygag week. That's what I call it. So it's like the week in between before the new year at the end of the year where everybody just kind of like is like, what do you do? It's like, because the new year's coming up, the end of Christmas is just over, new year's Eve is coming up. So this is the week where you kind of just are like, in limbo. But I feel like this is a perfect week to kind of reminisce and look at what you've accomplished. And even if it's just surviving this year, that's awesome. So, and then look at kind of what you want to accomplish for next year and just kind of like tune into who you, what you want to become or what you want to create or what you've already created and give yourself some grace and know that you've done an awesome job. So if you're watching this, I mean, if you're listening to this on my podcast, you can go see the cards on my Instagram or my Spunky Spirit account, my Spunky Spirit on Facebook or Instagram, Carrie Mugs. Now, on the back of each card is the moon circle. You can see the light shining in, is the moon circle and the different moon phases. So that's beautiful. And each card has a different, it's very, very well illustrated. They look like pictures, but they are drawings and it's beautiful. So we're going to pull today's card, see what we get. And, oh, abundance. I gotta put this on just a second to see what it does. Oh, the hunter's moon, that's kind of cool. So even though this isn't the hunter's moon, this is the cold moon, but this is the hunter's moon, which also, I, mean, I think we've pulled this card before. I think we have. So this week is gonna be full of abundance, which is kind of, cause Christmas, you get gifts, right? But. I want you to also like reminisce about what you've done this year. And even if you don't feel like you've accomplished a lot, you have, just know that you have, and, um, just know that there's more coming. I love this card, the beginning of the year, because this means that you get to kind of like look at the abundance and the things that you were grateful for, for last year. And you get to create abundance for this year. This means abundance is coming your way. I kind of feel like it's a whole year card, but you know, it can just be the week, but here we go. So some of the signs that you're going to see, obviously a full moon, which is tomorrow. So you're going to see that sign abundance, lots and lots of Fox, all, like lots and lots of, hold on one second. Cause I do need to, Oh, lots of animals around her, like a reindeer, obviously a Fox, a badger, a deer, any kind of wildlife that you're going to see this week is a sign and symbol that abundance is coming and also the leaves and the trees. So this is more of a fall card, 
But honestly, all these symbols are like beautiful because there's no way that you're not going to see them this week unless you're like snow filled. And the numbers are, I keep having to grab my glasses, you would think, 38. So 333 and 888, which is perfect because 333 means your ancestors are with you, your guides are with you, they're watching over, they're protecting you. So if you see any of these signs, that means they're with you, which is perfect for today. And then also 888 is perfect for abundance. It means that you're abundance. Now you have to remember, abundance doesn't always come in as money. It can come in as love, a lo abundance of love, an abundance of peace, an abundance of gra gratitude, an abundance of, it doesn't always have to be materialistic. It can just be friendships, family, love. So just kind of watch that. So anything fall, any kind of like a huntress, I'll take anything as a huntress, any kind of animals, wildlife animals, and a full moon. Those are your signs this week. If you see those signs, know that spirit is with you and reminding you of how abundant your life really is and what you are capable of creating. Because this is going to be, I know things sometimes feel like they're hard, but you can't look back at some part of 2023 and not say that you created something great, right? And so just know, just kind of take this week to like, Reminisce on what you've created and what you're going to create because 2024 you're going to create amazing things. That's what we're here to do is to create. And so if you want to hear more about this, I am doing a podcast this week or next week on the manifesting magic. So manifesting abundance, perfect for the new year. So abundance is coming, my friends, this week and all through the year. So I love you guys. Merry Christmas and I will see you next week.